Interesting. This is Victoria. Why is I'm it? Evan. Hi, guys. You've probably have seen me escapes. And um, the alpha isn't turned no, on. Boss. It's hilarious. With Cry Engine 3. Yeah. VV. We're just gonna Vivi. go full. We're gonna full screen this bad boy. She is the boss. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> no, she beats me up all the time. You, you don't even know. Call HR. No. Hey, after this week, I have ammunition on you. <laughs> That's true. You met all my old friends and my colleagues, and they told you lots of stories about me. Yes, they did. Lots of embarrassing personal stories. Yes. Yeah. They I think, did. I think it was uh, actually as red as this hellbug. You. You about, turned about pretty the same. colors. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I, I think we're gonna. It's we'll, time for the spiel. We'll, we'll do the toss. Yeah. Oh, uh, a lot of people use Brian Engine. It's not just Ion. Um, I actually we talked to the technical guys at GDC, and uh, we specifically talked to them about the engine, and it is yep. highly uh, modified from the original Brian Engine. Um, it is not English. It is English. We have localized this sucker. Yep. Uh, so we're going to start out here really quickly. Um, this is the map. Those of you that don't know the map. Uh, Araria. Araria. Oh, sorry. Okay. Aranya. So Aranya. Aranya, Aroria, and Nuia. Mm. And the game itself is pronounced Arcage, uh, which is a little bit different from the way they pronounce it in, um, uh, in Korea. Mm. So. So a lot of you are really familiar with the game already. It's easy. Uh, we've got the two southern continents, and that's where you start out when you go ahead and get started in the game. And then Aurora is the all-out PvP continent, where all sorts of fun and exciting things happen. Uh, I think Trick Tr might have muted your Tr mic. Trick muted. Oh, no. Sorry, I'm gonna. Yes, yes, yes. Drop. There we go. Okay. okay. Is that and then, uh, How's the game volume? So yep. how's how somebody like? I think I think it's solved. This? I think it's solved. Cool's all over this. Are Great. we good? Folks can hear me now. Cool. Let's show them what they can do. I'm too quiet. Uh, this is the first time I've been accused of being. No, too quiet. I just uh, I <laughs> I forgot to unmute your mic, oh, so it's really my loud. fault. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I turned down the game. See, I think we're good. Well, see the fact that you can actually hear her at all uh, with her mic muted. <laughs> all right, they're good now, better, all right. All right, good, sweet. All right, so uh, four races that we have. We've got Nuians, Elves, Firin, and Harani. And those are the four races that you've seen before. We have uh, tweaked the names to make them a little easier to pronounce for English folks. Fun fact about the original name for the Firin, it was a little too close to Fairy. Yes. And so we wanted to make sure that there was no confusion. And uh, we're going to show you some, oops, sorry, uh, some of the sliders that we've got. It's a very fine man over There's here. Good looking man. You can make him look even better. Click on the, there the we Details, go. there we are. Lots and lots, hundreds of different sliders. These That's sliders right here are just for the nose. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then one of my favorite things that you can do to the face of your character is under paint. Under paint. Under paint. There it is. And you can give yourself scars and hearts and little moles and around. dots and move them and they map to the face, so you can actually have a scar that comes right under your nose if you want to. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, and then we can... Ask me how I got these scars. No? Yeah. yeah okay, no. maybe next. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and zone <laughs> in before we show you the classes. And that's because, for those of you that aren't already familiar with it, the classes are a little bit different in Arcage. Lo yeah. Love that loading screen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Isn't that great? We have it in high res. Yeah, it's, it's badass. Fun. Um, so the classes, you start out with one class at level one. You pick one of six. And then you get a second one at level five and a third one at level ten. And there's no... <laughs> yeah, but there's cool stuff in character creation. Um, there's actually no limits in the way you can combine the classes, which is really super cool. So... I've got a class, for instance, that's archery, witchcraft, and vitalism. Um, I get to hold you in place while I pick you full of arrows, and then I get to heal myself, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. uh, hover over one, and we'll show you them with combos. Oh, yeah. So just super, super quick, uh, because it's something that you might not be aware of if go. you haven't seen the game in English before. The combos are actually based upon... Uh, the statuses that are on the NPCs. So they're not based upon the skills. So you can go ahead and light something on fire, 
with one of a number of different skills and then have something else that modifies that on a number of different skills. This is a very horse woman talking. Yeah. <laughs> They've been at GDC all week doing this uh, very same thing for... Yeah. So uh, we appreciate you life tolerate our, our graininess, the sort of the throatiness. It's just uh, it, it makes we've you been guys doing this a few times. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you guys seem tough. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. You can, yeah. I always sound like this. Yeah. It's just yeah. 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 This is my bedroom voice. I always sound like this. <laughs> um, I saw a quick question quickly. Uh, English beta is not open. We are currently in friends and family, and um, we have cool stuff that we will be talking about a bit later. Um, and we will tell you more about it then. Mm -hmm. So why don't you go ahead and talk about the, I've talked too much, you talk about the quest. So as you might see in the distance, something you probably recognize a little bit, that of course is a quest icon. However, the quests in the game are a little bit different than you might expect. While you have your standard quest, which you know you're going to be collecting, and I'm being told to say I am the bat. I am Batman. All right, there. Happy. There you go. All right. Uh, well, you have your standard quests, okay. which are going to be advancing this story, and there's definitely a story, and a good one. Uh, in fact, we may have a trailer at some point. Maybe not today. Uh, not today. Not today. Maybe okay, not another today. time. Uh, spoilers. Uh, but you also <laughs> have quests that allow you to do a couple of different things as well. For instance, you've got a quest where you don't like gathering the item. They're hard to find. They're hard to kill. One of those things. You can actually decide to underachieve a quest. So you can actually submit less than the required amount. And that'll actually allow you to submit it for you know, slightly less experience. Same deal, actually, if you want to do over that, if you want to do overachievement. So you'll be able to actually uh, go kill more of those things and actually get more experience for your trouble. So there's a, lot, a real wide variety there. Um, there's also some hidden quests where if you happen to kill enough mobs in the area, it'll actually pop up a little uh, scroll saying, you've just discovered a hidden quest. You get some bonus experience for that as well. However, one of our favorites are uh, the quests that allow you to actually grow your very own mount. This cute little guy right here. Oh, yes. What's that guy's name? This is Snow Lion Cub, if I got the name correctly. Yep. Snow Main Snow Lion Cub, Snow to be Man. precise. So we're going to just go up next to him. You will actually be growing this guy from a kitten to a, sorry, a cub, not a kitten, because kittens are, you know, sweet and everything. You're going to be playing with him, amusing him, you know, little flowers are going to grow. Then he's going to get a little tired, so you're going to have to feed him, as you can see here from the Vita root that I'm feeding him right now. And he's going to be growing. And in about, I think, uh, 60 seconds, so he'll actually grow physically in size. And, uh, oh, look at him. Oh, he's so happy. He's so happy. I'm going to be your mount. I'm going to take you on adventures and places and things like that. Cool. Yeah, I think so. So we're going to actually... Uh, go so on. we're going to hop you over to our little village here. Magic. And I'm going to answer some of the questions that I have seen. Some speed. Up. We cannot eat the... cut. No, you don't eat the... It's your mouth. <laughs> Wait, so don't be while, like that. while you're, while you're feeding don't your cubs... Don't sully this. <laughs> Can people actually, I know, I've heard rumors of people being able to steal your crops and stuff. Can yes. people steal your mount while it's waiting to uh, grow? No, it only takes about five minutes to grow. Oh, so okay. it That's doesn't take difference. a whole lot of time. Um, the crops take a lot longer to grow. Uh, this will be a free game when we launch it later this year. Mm -hmm. You do not have to wait too much longer. Mm -mm. Yes, it is so, free to play. Yes, uh, if there's any questions on that. Apparently there are some questions on that. All right, uh, fair enough. <laughs> so basically, uh, what you're looking at here is a village house, as you can tell. This house was not only built by the player, it was placed by the player, and everything inside this house was also crafted and placed by the player. Also, a lot of things in here are actually interactable. These candles, for instance, interactable. And they actually affect the light as well. Plus, they look nice. Yeah. Beyond that, and it's really here. romantic. Now. Oh, very romantic. Aww. Yes, actually, I oh, wait, think. Hang on. Ooh, yeah. I've got to hang on. No, keep going. Oh, keep I'm going to keep going. All right. Sorry, I was <laughs> so trying to do something. Up. I'm like, we're not doing exactly the demo. You may have noticed. Uh, we're having a little more fun. A little more it. improv, because it's you guys, you know. Yeah. Um, so basically, yes, these uh, houses they require a lot of resources to craft, but they are yours. You can control who can enter them. You can control even things like say whether the windows open or not, which. Personally, to me, I like little detail things. Um, <clears throat> this is just one of a series of houses in this village that we've crafted or that we put together out here. All of these houses, including the one that's actually under construction right there in front of us, these were all made, crafted, built, and placed by players. Even these trees were placed by players. Uh, the chickens over here. The uh, well, that mount that just went rounding off. <laughs> there it is. Now I'm coming back. Oh, good. I appreciate that. Looks like that. the adult version of your snow leopard. That is indeed. 
<laughs> That's exactly right. Is the so are you yeah. sure she didn't steal your mouth? <laughs> Victoria, that was my, my little. I, I oh, it's I Victoria. Raised him, That's I why. raised That's him me. from a yeah. cub. <laughs> I raised that cub from a cub, and now he's that. And I'm going to get on that mount with you because actually it is a uh, two point wow. mount. And actually, if you notice, we're actually saying, are we wearing That is same? badass. I, sir, I yeah. did not um, know that. Are we wearing like the same costume? We're, we're wearing like the male and the female version. The male and the female version of that costume. costume. So awesome, yeah. So um, let's see. Actually, just roaming around this whole village, this is actually a housing area where people can you know, elect to build their homes here. Uh, they can uh, actually portal back to these homes as well. The uh, fireplace that you saw is actually going to be uh, a portal that you can use to get back to your house from anywhere in the world. And uh, we're actually going to go past, uh, you can see a house that's under construction here. Houses can be I attacked. Need a chicken. Hang oh, on. You need a chicken? Actually, I'm going to go walk through these ducks over here. No, we can actually kill them. What? Yeah, come here. Roast what? some duck. I'm over here. Whoa. Feed them to your <gasps> wait, 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 snow wait. leopard. Yes, you can actually butcher the animal. Because ducks are delicious. Look at this little guy that hanging out in the oh, top right little, corner. You're just wooden. There's a little bunny in the top right corner. But she just like put a cleaver through a duck's head. Yep. As yeah. long as we eat all parts of the buffalo in this house, that's fine, I guess. Oh, another. See, there's my footprints. Sure enough, yeah, because you stole something. Because I stole something from my own faction. So that's uh, we talk actually about how um, you have the you have the option to steal from your own faction. Uh, the problem is that. Oh, you, you ran away? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Why is it you to run away? Because, you know, someone might... You're going to put me in jail, man. Someone might, I don't know, click on this footprint and actually report the crime. Because this village actually is owned by someone else, uh, not Victoria, nor Victoria's character. Um, and these are, you can tell these are footprints, not actually blood spatters. So it's a little bit, so whoever's saying it's blood spatters. Um, it's blood spatter when you kill someone of your own faction. Yeah. Well, and yeah, see, this is actually where we're getting more into like the uh, the CSI Arc Age stage, where you can actually report a crime, and by reporting it, if enough people actually see this mark and report it and say, "I totally saw that woman go and murder the duck and run off with it, and it wasn't hers," and you'll actually uh, a few hundred people now. Yeah. <laughs> Back that up. You all saw it. You're, you're all gonna witnesses. Get, you're gonna get. You're a witness. You're, you're a gonna witness. get mail now. <laughs> duck killer. <laughs> We should get you a title for that, yeah. Yeah, but reporter <laughs> already. I want to see what happens. <laughs> Come on, somewhere, yeah, there you go. Describe what you saw. <laughs> wow, duck. really? It is no more. <laughs> I'm so going to end up in jail. Yes, you probably are, actually. And what happens uh, when you're... It's my first crime. <laughs> I might not. We'll chill out easy. You were demoing the game. So um, actually what will happen when enough people uh, report that crime is that Victoria will actually be put on trial by a jury of her peers. And when we say peers... We mean you, the players. We mean you, the and, folks and, who actually saw in the world. And maybe that guy I just stole from. And maybe the person whose duck she stole. So what's happening there at that point is that it basically... It was Saint. He oh, deserved it. Oh, pfft. Saint deserves it. Whatever. He killed I, me before. I'll kill his ducks. Actually, do you want to share that lovely uh, oh, yeah. little anecdote? <laughs> so we were, we were running through the demo and um, just running around this village with a low-level character that we forgot to make immortal. <laughs> And the owner of the house, if you want to turn around and show Oh, yes, the house yes, sorry. Better, I'm distracted uh, by this fantastic story. The actual, the owner of this house took offense to me being on this his land. This very fine house right here. And he didn't know there, that it was really me. There. Wow, can you go, can you go check out yeah, those owls? Awesome? Yeah, isn't that Yeah. yeah. Well, he's got uh, so, uh, yeah, the farmer tool up here. He's got um, the, the world grill machine up here. You've got the talking, the talking chickens, owl, the talking, talking owl. Um, yeah, I'm... I hadn't actually seen that one before. It's a bobblehead statue shaped like a prisoner. That's kind of awesome. And you can see, like, all this is his stuff in here. Um, things that I do not have permission to mess with yet. So there's that. But, um, but yeah, he just yeah, kind of swooped came up in. And, and, me. and, like, one shot at you, too. Uh, well, yeah, that's because I was level one at the time. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But, uh, no, because we were thinking, like, oh, it's, it's Saint, and she's dead, and we're in the middle of demos, and we haven't really had too much time to rehearse yet. So, um,. So I walked outside. And put a hit on him. Put a hit on him. And he was dead in about five minutes. Mm -hmm. I, I, I picked my yeah. hit men well. Yep. Yeah. Zero ducks were given. <laughs> nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, and yes, these are polar bears for the people asking about uh, polar bears. It's lost, bears. basically. Yeah, I'm waiting, waiting to see a smoke monster somewhere. Yeah. There's a ship out there. Oh, my. Ooh, Yo, there's, there's, a ship, oh, there's a ship out there. Oh, wait, hang on. I've, oh. got, um, I've got our special gonna ship. going to get us out of the tree. Okay. Let me get our special ship up. The because special ship. the special ship is marked in such a way that the other ships know not to mess with it. So actually what you're witnessing here actually is a naval battle right now. Just like that. Just 
people wandering the seas and deciding to so take these fight are, with each other. So these are players' boats. These are ends and cutters that were constructed by players, currently are being, uh, can I get, yeah, you can actually see, yeah. being, uh, oh, <laughs> someone just jumped ship, man overboard. <laughs> uh, but you actually, are, these are being navigated by players. Oh, there's another one over here, I totally missed it. Uh, yeah, you know, there's also a junk, uh, there's one of the other ships, the eastern looking ships um, out there as well. And you'll notice that all of the, the sails look different, and that's because everybody gets to put their own image on the sail. And we've actually got a pretty fantastic one. Oh, there's the junk. Wow. Yeah, so you can have customized <gasps> sails I see a glyph too, boat. on each one of your boats. Yes, there we go. So uh, here's, a, here's a kind of interesting moment in this live stream where Evan tries to do the glider <laughs> move that Victoria has been nailing during the whole thing, where she goes from glider, and if you guys don't know what the glider is, you're about to see the glider, going from glider to ship and sticking the landing. Here we go. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh, I didn't, oh, there we so go. So actually our texture's gonna pop in here. I'm gonna do my best to actually just run into the sails here. I know that's not exactly the right way to do it. And, okay, I'm gonna go through the sail. That's not exactly what I wanted yeah. to show off there. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria's a lot better moving. at this, yeah. Uh, I'm, nope, nope, nope. You're nope, 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 nope. T, 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 thank you. Yeah, no, T's oh. down. T's no. the wrong way. <laughs> so there's falling damage in this game. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, you're, aren't you running away from me right now? Yeah. Um, Come on. Um, Swim. Um, Swim. I'm trying. Let's see. So Victoria is actually controlling this the ship in front of us, mm -hmm. too, by the way. So because we're on the same team, I'll be actually able to climb her ship. But I'd be able to do the same thing if I was not on her team. For instance, if I was her vile enemy from the opposing faction. Yes, thank you, Random Factor. I did notice that I missed. I apologize. I'll do better next time. Um, <clears throat> but if I was on the opposing team, I probably actually wouldn't go up the side of the ladder because she'd have a longer time to actually take action. Instead, I would board from the rear over here where I can actually hit F, climb up on the ship. There we go. Nice water effect, too, yeah. on, the, on the lens when bit. you come out. And, of course, I'd have my swords, you know, flared out. I'd have my uh, spells at the ready. I would not be clipping on the edge of the ship there. And I would take the fight directly to her. But since we're on the same team, that's not going to happen. And you can have all your buddies on your, your ship, too, to protect you, right? Well, oh, that's yeah. the building you, thing, you too. You should yeah. have cannonballs. I should have cannonballs. Yeah, I put them on your character earlier today. Excellent. And I'm going to go and fire some cannonballs. As you can see here, I get a uh, basically almost like a mini vehicle set of skills here. Ah. Thank you, Sammy74. I appreciate you uh, taking that thing to the final conclusion of that joke. And someone I is know. actually <laughs> opening fire on us. That's not cool. Not oh well. So actually we're going Get to try back. to try to aim here. And we fire them for 185 oh. points of damage. That's not that Where's much. Uh, let's see. Was not actually expecting to take fire here. We actually <laughs> had sort of we actually had already established a peace treaty. Oops. We had to convince uh, Ah, we're, we're caught. <laughs> we're Our rigging is caught. <laughs> oh. Thankfully it looks like we might be able to get away from this. Let's see. Battle. There, there we, go. we go. No, come back here. I want to fire at you. Sorry. Fire into the water. Sorry. I just As you see. can see, actually, there's also like there isn't a realistic uh, range to my cannon. I can't fire to the rear of the ship. There's actually uh, this range here, as you're seeing. Um, but actually, just for the total range, we're actually going to fire literally over this guy's bow. If I get a blue, there we go. Firing over the bow. Go away. We've got cannon too, and Send one, a shot and over one his person bow. firing it. <laughs> exactly. There are more people than one on those other ships. I'm mm. pretty sure. Actually, fun pirate ship fact, the cannonballs themselves was not what did the most damage. It was the splinters that resulted from hitting the ship. Oh, wow. The more you know. Uh, we actually should have more pirate lore like that. That'd yeah, be kind of fun. Yeah. And you need to say it in a pirate voice. I do. Ah, too. yes. The Wait, that's more Scottish. Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> so the, we'll work on that as well. <laughs> so Evan mentioned the pirates, and right. some of you, I'm sure, have heard of the pirate faction. And that's going to... Uh, it's really going to be interesting to see how folks do that. I'm trying to keep turning the ship around so you can keep firing at things. So actually, I'm going to show off the, uh, the crow's nest, I think, while you describe sure. uh, piracy sure. and how a piracy operates. Don't mind me while I climb this uh, the oh, like a badass. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, look at that armor, upper arm strength. Seriously. I don't even know cannon. I got two guns right here. So uh, what you saw the footprints on the ground earlier when I killed the duck. Glyph. And what you have there is, uh, after Evan reported me, if enough people report me, yeah. or anyone, high up. Uh, then you go to trial. And we mentioned before, it's a trial of the peers of your own faction. Oh, there's one of the little speedboats. Ooh. Oh, you can't see. Look down on, this, look down uh, on our port side. 
So, oh, do you know what's the difference between port and starboard? I do know. The, I, I'm going to have to learn, won't I? Yes. It's around there's here. A speedboat on our port side. Port side to the there port. It there it is. Whoa, whoa, hey. There it is. Whoa, there's a little uh, catamaran speed style. Speed demon. Kind of being blocked by the mast. Move the mast. Off. There we go. Nice Sorry. turn. There we go. All your fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, We're the best pirates ever. <laughs> Clearly, you guys aren't going to be the pirate faction. Yes, we will have EU servers, as I saw that one just scroll by quickly. <laughs> um, we are, yes. Careful, so, there's a ship. There's a ship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you go to jail often enough, you get kicked out of your faction. And uh, you get stuck basically Actually, interacting. I'm just going to like, go. broadside the ship. I'm just going to hold on to this. Can thing. I shove it out of the way? I think you might be able to. Oh. <laughs> you might be shoving oh. me out of the way. And again, there's fall damage in the game. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to um, use that excuse a few times now. But yeah, if you're in the pirate faction, then you can only go ahead and... So um, that's a, sorry, I'm going to interrupt you. That was a ship that just went down, which does happen. The ships do have health, and there is obviously this... You can see, that actually, the steering wheel is the only thing that's floating right now at the moment. Probably some lumber fragments. These are actually things you can go out and collect. Yep. Uh, so the pirates get to interact with just the NPCs on an yep. island. We're taking some fire here. We are! <laughs> okay, back, um, back to I, the cannon. I, hang on. Well, I can be invulnerable, uh, but you can't. <laughs> well, it doesn't help me very much. Well, I'm the one steering the ship. Aren't you charitable? Doesn't mean that the ship won't go down. Here, let's see if we can ram. All right. I think I just like ramming things. <laughs> um, there is well, my cannon doesn't fire that far forward. There is <laughs> full collision, as you can see. Come here. Um, but yeah, so if you become a pirate, you don't have a whole lot of right, uh, go land that you can easily interact with. So you, uh, you tend vast. to take it from other boats. This Ooh, is not Canada. drunk driving. <laughs> Unfortunately, this Completely is Completely sober, sober driving. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was a good GDC, but no, we're actually okay now, thanks. I totally missed. All right, oh. I'm going to try to keep going get around him. and get him. look get at him. questions. Get him. Cole, can you look for questions that look good? And yeah, let's see if we can stare. find. Because <laughs> I can't really see. Well, so I've seen a lot of business model talk, and I'm mm. sure we're not talking about that, right? Or That's not true. Uh, that's not oh. totally true. There you go. Uh, so it is going to be free to play. And we are going to follow the Rift model as much as possible. No tricks, no traps. Uh, really, we want to, you know, you guys get in and play the game, enjoy the game. And then if you, you know, feel like getting some extra stuff, you can give us some money. Uh, it, will it also cost $200 for alpha access? We haven't finalized the pricing for anything, so I don't know. Probably $2 million then. If I could get someone to pay $2 million to get in, I probably would try. Yeah. But, but I don't think I would ask everyone to do that. And mm -hmm. again, honestly, we will definitely be sharing this stuff the quick as we can. The goal is to get Arcage out fast as humanly possible. And that's why 2004 is, sorry, 2014 ah, is actually going to Ten happen. Years in the past. No. I think that's actually when Dev, no, Dev started no, a little no, bit no. after that. Dev started after that. <laughs> So um, now the whole reason why we're doing this whole pirate ship demonstration, actually sorry, not pirate ship demonstration, this you know, ship demonstration, this is how you're going to get those items that you were uh, farming from the land, the, uh, yeah. the yacht of fur, the cashmere, um, the, the goods. Man, that was, they've got multiple people firing off that ship. How I can know, we even compete? I'm, I'm leaving you now, so. So uh, here's you're another what? question. Uh, classes, races, uh, Housing, is that going to be uh, purchasable content or are all the races going to be available at the beginning or we don't know yeah. probably? So we do know that all four races will be available at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And um, housing, currently uh, what we're looking at implementing is you will buy your, your house blueprint with uh, coins that you get in the game, currency you get in the game, and then you will... Uh, you have to pay taxes, and you get to pay the taxes. That's totally a guy on the glider sloth. Yes. Okay. Just, uh, just observing. Just observing. There's, um, a, there's yeah. a sloth skin glider, a sloth by the way. Skin glider. Which yes. is rad. Yeah. It Which just went, very, it just went that cool. away. Or that away. Uh, try any of my players, alpha players that are listening, swing by the glyph boat with a sloth glider. We could show it off. Yep. Buzz the tower. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you'll be able to pay taxes using uh, in-game currency or non-in-game currency, oh. depending on what you want to do. There's a glider to totally do. on my tail. Uh, the water yes, looks yeah, so taxes, good. I know. Love the water in this game. That's good stuff. Uh, glider. Uh, so totally another, probably the most asked question oh, yeah. that yeah. I haven't sure. been asking you guys yeah. is uh, open beta. 
Uh, it'll happen. It'll happen. That's so simply we are, a fact. You we are trying to go live as fast as possible. Um, we have a couple of technical integration issues that we need to finalize. Um, and I'm, I'm actually waiting for the latest uh, update on when that's possible as folks are moving stuff around. And uh, once we actually have those dates that we can announce, I will be happy to announce them. I don't even know what they are right now, so I couldn't tell you if I wanted to. I mean, it's no secret. We want it as soon as possible, right? Oh, yeah. Obviously. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. No, it's we w I want to play this game. Victoria yeah, wants so to play it. Everyone wants to play this game. In the weekends that we have the Al Friends Family Alpha, everyone is uh, in a Skype channel all talking with each other about, like, oh, who has this for this? Who's going to be doing this? Can we go and get this castle going? It's really, really exciting, and we want you guys to be part of it. Like, Speaking of castles, you yeah. want to hop over to the castle? Oh, yeah. I suppose we can do that. That's a good all thing right. to do. Incoming. Ooh. Yeah, really. Uh, I mean, so I've, I've played way more hours than I probably should have <laughs> uh, in MMOs, and this it is a very fun version of any MMO out there. It really is. So I see group content. Uh, mm -hmm. Group content, we have dungeons, we have uh, raids, we have sieges, we have... Uh, everybody get together and build your castle or your house or whatever you want. <laughs> so, um, so yes, there's lots of group content. PvE, uh, PvP, standard theme park type dungeons, as well as uh, sandbox elements, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep hearing 1.0, so I'm going to say something about 1.0. We are working with XL to understand why they did all of the different things that they did mm -hmm. with 1.0. And we will be getting an English version of it shortly so we can play through it ourselves and see what makes sense to import and what doesn't. I can tell you we have already told them that there are certain components that don't make sense for the West and we are not going to take them. And that is a that's where we are right now. So mm -hmm. I, we don't have a final answer on what we're taking. We are not going to be taking everything. Mm. But beyond that, I don't know exactly what. And again, we've actually talked with the uh, Excel Games. Yep. They're completely amenable to making a version that works for the West. Mm -hmm. And that's there's an open conversation. They, you know, uh, just as an example, I suppose the uh, the racial quests actually. Yes. Yes. We did the. Um, so XL removed XP from the racial quest with 1.0, and that doesn't make a whole lot of sense for the Western audience, and so they've put it back for us. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to take that component. Yeah. Um, I have been memorizing a couple of the questions that I saw, so I'm going to try to rattle them off while showing off the beautiful castle here. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Actually, if you want to... Do the drive around. That might be yeah, an option. Yeah, let me. Or I'm probably going to. I'm going to beat you the crenellation, so I'm just going to head up there and show off the pretty. So um, somebody was asking about, uh, can I swim under the water? Yes. There is actually not uh, only. You, uh, you can farm under the water. <laughs> you can farm under the water. You can build houses that are sea shanties on the water. There are hidden uh, sunken wrecks with treasure that you have to actually craft balloons to get the treasure back up to the top. And you have to hope that while you're out there on the sea doing all this, that there are not pirates who are trying to uh, capture, kill, and uh, take the treasure from you before you can claim it. And that's just in a mouthful of uh, underwater, uh, under sorry, underwater gameplay. Hi, it's Friday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody been doing this all week. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, that was the other thing too. Is that uh, somebody was asking about uh, pre-order packages? We I think mentioned that we um, yes, are going to be doing. We are going to be doing pre-order packages. Yep, sort of thing uh, like founder packages yep. with uh, different and uh, will perks get and you benefits. Into beta. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, exactly the details of what's going to be in those packages. We're Kitty! finalizing. Sorry. Come on, hop around. I'll oh. run around the oh, wall. Oh, shoot, okay. Mount up. Wait, let me not look at your screen to figure out where I'm going. <laughs> no, <'cause laughs> don't that do that. Work. Uh, please uh, don't run us off the edge. Please don't I'm run us off the edge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's fall damage in the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> um, let's see, there were some other good questions that were asked. Ah. Um, will labor uh, regenerate uh, for all accounts? I'm, yes. I think we can it safely say that answer is yes. In fact, we can absolutely say the answer is yes, so no worries on that front. Is there fishing? Yes, there's fishing. In fact, we haven't even opened the, uh, the folio yet. Oh, yeah. So pop it open. Bam. Um, so for those of you that haven't... <laughs> yeah, auto, I might. 
Um, no, no auto. <laughs> she won't. Don't don't listen to. So there is a. Take her out, Hellbug. I have a bigger one. So there are. Uh, That's what she said. Fifteen different uh, <laughs> trade skills that is there. What she said. Um, you can do everything. There's the standard trade skills for uh, you know create your potion. You can create potions that will help heal ships as well as players. Um, In fact. Potions, right here. A whole pile of them. Uh, there's buffs that you can create, and all of those items that you saw in the houses, uh, you can create those. A lot of the items that you saw outside of Saint's house, you can create. Uh, the others are purchased, and yeah, there's chairs, chairs and tables, beds, and lights, cabinets. And beds, and yeah. You can sleep on the beds, yeah. which is something I think. I think we just need to. Re yeah, we actually need to rename carpentry to just IKEA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of IKEA. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the Allen wrenches are free. Yeah. There you go. And yeah. then there's the commerce. So that's the we had mentioned it briefly before. That's trading back and forth, uh, creating items that you can turn in for cash mm -hmm. and uh, for in-game currency, and use that to. Yeah buy all sorts of stuff. Yeah, We need some flavor text on this particular one for uh, Liliota Special Spice. Needs to have yeah. the spice must flow somewhere on there. <laughs> yeah. we, we could talk to Loke. That'd be fun. That'd yeah. be fun. So these actually uh, go on your back. You'll physically actually sh uh, be slowed down also. Yes, you yeah. are. You, you move slower. Um, but the whole point is to get uh, from point A to point B for increased sales. The danger, of course, is in the case of uh, traversing the broad, wide, scary ocean. Yeah is basically it's a gigantic PvP zone. Almost treat it like a fourth continent in some ways, <laughs> with only a couple of safe zones. Or not, sorry, I shouldn't say safe zones. These uh, islands are far from safe. Uh, there are some safe zones on oh. the starter island. OK. Points of interest. Yeah, <laughs> points of interest. There we go. So the, we're, oh yeah. So the beginning islands are safe. Uh, not the beginning islands, but the beginning zones are safe. Um, they're always in peace. And then the other zones will actually cycle through periods of peace so that you can, uh, if you want to, safely go through those areas or more importantly, get out of those areas because the peacetime happens after a big war and you've probably been killed by someone. Mm. Just want to show off uh, the very fine edges of this armor. These particular armors, actually, I'm going to show yours off as well. If oh, you sorry. don't run away, run away. <laughs> Jeez, okay, fine. We're focusing you know on me, though. Yeah. My favorite part about the mounts, just messing around, is that they have a really cool little sidestep animation. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and the, actually, when they reverse too. Yeah. Um, when they reverse, they actually like look at their paws as they're reversing. At least yeah. this one does. The others have different animations. Oh, see, but yeah. there's a lot of attention to detail, which is really, really super charming. Yeah, it and does. he follows me. That's and there's like, <laughs> look, he follows me. He <laughs> does. Yeah. Yeah, she's not uh, riding him right now. She's he's just like, no, I'm coming with you. Away they go, off into the wild wilderness. The amount she of animations, Falcor. the amount of animations for emotes is ridiculous too. Not just emotes, dances. Yeah. So here, as you might notice, this is kind of a basic uh, dance. Actually, uh, where are you? You get over here. You dance too. Uh, you can actually run while you dance. You can walk while <laughs> you dance. You can jump while you dance. I don't have so, my dances on my my uh, hot bar. I thought we organized this. I'm sorry. We practiced all week on this. Well, it was on no, a different didn't. character. It was right, actually, you're just, we didn't actually. You're just uh, <laughs> judging him. Oh, see, actually, no, this is a dance-off now. It's her turn. But uh, basically, what I was going to say is that uh, even just yeah, the small things, angry. even just slash dance, uh, if you notice, when you move in other games where you do slash dance, you stop dancing. Uh-uh. I'm moving forward, and it's a different dance step. I'm moving backwards, it's a different dance step. It's the same deal. It's basically, uh, you're going to be adding to your dance. Can't you as jump you please. too? Yes. And you can jump and it Check adds into it. Here, let me actually show you from the front here. Oh, oops. Bam. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> I love that. Oh, thing. yeah. So, um, and you actually, I think No, you can we cannot twerk it. Thank thankfully, twerking is not in the game. I don't know. You, are there other dances you can find? Yes, but, but I don't believe any of them have twerking. That's probably for the best. Uh, yes, a dance party. I really hope we see so many flowy. dance parties. So okay. flowy. I will gladly jump in there into any dance party that anyone throws on any of our servers, and I would be very, very gleefully happy because I'm so looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to people using the, uh, no, I'm looking for K. Uh, not vocation, songcraft, nope. What are you looking for? The, um, <clears throat> the composition. Oh, no, it's in K. It is in K, my yeah, mistake. it's under the vocation ones. Oh, that would be why. Mm -hmm. There we yeah. are. So this has, there in addition go. to the normal 15, there's some additional ones in here. Right. So what composition allows you to do is actually to write music. And the best part is that you, even if you write like really complex compositions, your skill in it dictates whether you actually play it well or not. So again, combine 
people playing on you know, flutes and lutes and guitar and uh, other uh, instruments with a whole bunch of people dancing. You've got really cool, just emergent content, people to do all sorts of fun st things and host really, uh, I think, exciting live streams with. So yeah, it should be a lot of fun, actually, yeah. once we get more folks involved with that. So we haven't actually been talking too much about the siege mode here. Oh, no, that's true. Yeah, you know, we've been showing off this beautiful castle, which actually does hold a purpose. So um, when you yeah. go ahead, hang on, let me get out of the dance mode here. <laughs> Stop dancing. No. I'm, I'm so used to in other games, you move and that stops you dancing. It but is definitely a different experience, you're right. It doesn't do right. that for this. Um, so here, you, uh, if you want to claim a piece of the land, you have to get a ton of Archeum and go ahead and claim one of these spots in the world. Uh, and then once you do that, you can you can't drive him without me. No, I think you can actually guide me around, though. I'm t I'm my legs are a little tired from a lot of dancing. Ugh. Him. There we go. There we go. Um, Whee! <laughs> so, uh, what was that? Oh, yeah, so you claim the Archeum and then... Where did I put the quarters? I wanted to... Yeah. Go, no, oh, no, no quarters. No quarters. <laughs> no quarters. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll get off get now. Claim, <laughs> then you get to claim the territory. And it's um, a portion of all of the taxes, as well as, if you choose, a portion of what people uh, collect from the mobs in the area that they kill, they... Um, goes to the owner of the castle. And then once a week, you end up with uh, an item that goes on the auction house, and that uh, anyone can bid for. The winner of that will have the right to lay siege to your castle. Uh, they can choose not to, if they really like you. Um, or they can, and it starts a timer, so you know when your castle is going to be sieged. And they have to, to capture that pile of Archeum by the end of the siege. Um, if they do, they get whatever's left of the castle, because the walls are all destructible, and they um, they get all of the taxes as well, including any of your uh, houses that are in there. Uh, so are somebody talking quickly about, is there guides available? We are working on a number of starter guides to help you out, so that you know stuff uh, before you have to figure it out. Mm -hmm. And labor potions, we're still working out details. We're very, very sensitive to the fact that labor potions are uh, a big thing of the game. And if you have infinite labor, that mm -hmm. is a very, very bad thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're, we're still debating. It's not 100% exactly what we're going to do. Um, at a minimum, there will be a cooldown. Mm -hmm. There's no, no question about that. They will not be unlimited labor. So I've been uh, actually having so much fun running around. I've you been ignoring the chat. the chat. I'm so sorry. Uh, there were some really great questions. Somebody was asking, can you not PvP? Yes, yeah. absolutely. In fact, one of our uh, associate producers, what she wanted to do was, uh, she saw that quest marker that we saw in the very beginning, and she went, no, I refuse. And instead said, is that a mining node over there? I'm going to go do that. And is that a tree I can chop that? I'm going to go do that. Before she knew it, she was level 50, max level just from having collected and crafted. No combat, nope. no quests, just doing a her peaceful, own thing. A peaceful player. Absolutely, yeah. If you want to. It'll make it a lot easier for those guys that actually like to play MMOs without actually swinging a sword yeah. Yeah. or casting a spell. Yeah. Chopping down <laughs> trees, though, that's, that's kind of important. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you want to build a house, you'll need to. You can still be vegan if you chop down trees, right? Uh, I guess, if they're plants. Yeah. You just you just lose uh, reputation with the uh, the Captain Planet uh, faction. Yes, yeah. you. Yes, definitely. You know what's crazy? There's Don so Cheadle. much stuff to show. <laughs> I know, and we have gone way over time. Oh yeah. my gosh! <laughs> oh, we have. I'm sorry. Have. So, um, actually, let's uh, I'm show off the. Uh, pull the you out to the other. Yeah, end. dude. Yay. Let's let's see the, the panorama, the big finish. <laughs> uh, someone. All right, there we go. Uh, so we're we're going you to another. Hang on, we're coming to the announcement. <laughs> <laughs> we're, go we're taking you to another uh, castle here that is go. under construction. We only have two on Alpha right now, and there are the two. This is the second one. It's a completely different structure that you can see. So, really, you can build the castles however you want to build your castle. Yep. All right, so the, are we announcement time? Or are we so giveaway time? Are we going to make them wait for the announcement? You oh, know, we have giveaways? Oh, we got, yeah, a, we we got gonna a little do, something. We're going to do one little giveaway. We got one, wow. and then we got the other. Um, so I think uh, a lot of people um, were asking when uh, we started talking with uh, the fan sites this week. You know, there was a lot of question about uh, where are we with the uh, the official forums. And uh, seeing as we are past 
3 p.m. Yes, and, and I seeing, got the text that yeah. we can say this yeah, and, safely. And also seeing as, you know, I made sure all the posts are ready, everything's all yeah, prepared. Yeah, I checked. I, all good. You know, I cleaned up. I did a really good job of housekeeping. You know, I... You're, you're just dragging it out. Just say it. The official forums for Arcage are now live. Please enjoy. Please dive in. <laughs> We're really, really excited to have you guys there. I cannot wait to see the conversations that we have and to learn about your excitement for it and to uh, share in that excitement. Yep. So, uh, I saw yeah. a great question. What's if you're that? an enemy, can you glide into that castle? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, you can. that's totally a tactic. Uh, yeah. That is, that is actually a fairly common tactic. I'm in actually going to uh, hear all. I shall demonstrate. On your beautiful butterfly. Yeah. yeah since, um, this time with the, the thing's actually uh, you know, rendering now. So. We, we like him, but you know, it's, um, it's AR's castle. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, yes, so forums.rpgame.com. That's where you should go. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and make accounts. Uh, you will need a try on account to post. You can should be able to read for anything. Yeah. Oh, um, and for those who are asking about attacking with gliders, uh, again, just oh yeah. pew, pew, pew. I actually like the other one, the fireworks. Oh, my bad, the fireworks. Because you actually do damage to people on the ground underneath you. Yep. So you can glide over the castle walls and yeah. take out the defenders. I don't think I caught the, uh, the, ex the particle effect that well, but uh, at least you got that. Yep, yep. Um, and yeah. then the giveaway. The giveaway. Let's not forget the giveaway. No, no, no. I think the it's giveaway, I apologize, comes with caveats. Um, this is, we will, we will put your name on a list. This is not a guarantee of an instant access. Oh, that's a wall. I mean, you run into a castle. There's fall um, damage. But we are going to go ahead and select one person from the forums, uh, from the, the feed here. And again, you have to be following our, our Twitch feed. Uh, so we're going to select one person. Mm -hmm. And you will be guaranteed alpha access when we are inviting folks to alpha in the next few weeks. So, so we're just ahead. ready. We're ready just to go. Go ahead and pick one. It's this time. Do it's you want to do like ten seconds to follow if they've you know been holding? Have you guys been like holding out this entire time waiting for this? Yeah. yeah so it would be the most tragic thing ever if we rolled somebody that wasn't following. It so would be terrible. Ten seconds from ten. Yeah. Ten. All right. Nine. Eight. Seven, Seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, 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 two, 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 one. What's funny is there's like a lag. <laughs> so it's not even going to... So wait, we have to wait 60 seconds? <laughs> well, no, I'm on. just going to do it. Here Get it goes. It. Yes. All right. It's a name that we can't pronounce. Nah, you can Even try. X A? Even X I E. Even X I E. E V I N I X. Underscore. A I E. Congratulations. Uh, you are going to get an invite to Alpha when, so it, when the time to, is right. Yep, we will need your uh, account uh, number or account email for Try On Worlds accounts. And if you don't have one, you can go ahead and make one and send that in. Um, and we will make sure that you are on the list for the first round of Alpha invites. Yep. That will be in the next few weeks. Also, I do have this uh, question to posit to my friends here. How intimidating will it be when it's actually, no, the one I'm looking for is the pumped up dance. There we go. How intimidating <laughs> when you've got an army of 100 guys marching on your castle like this, and you're realizing, oh, damn, we're about to get served. Yep. It'll be fun. There's so. going to be plenty of dance battles, I'm they're sure. Begging. <laughs> they're begging us. Do we want to? One more? You wanna, do you want to do one more? You want to do one more? Do you want to do one more? I think we're going to do, do one more. We're going to do one more, just because uh, it's fun to do that kind of stuff. Mm. You guys I, ready? And we're going to roll? More people I think to we're going to play with, so yeah. All right, yeah, we're going to roll one more time. We're going to roll one more time. Play Here with us, yes. Make a good one, make a good one. No whammies. And nice. A noob pones. A noob pones. I've seen a noob pones, I think. It's before. like a full sentence. I got a me. A okay. noob who pones. I can't even follow it anymore. A noob pones. Awesome. Congratulations. Uh, you're going to get alpha access in a couple weeks, I think. Right? Yeah. I love this well, guy. A few weeks. Just a few weeks. We're being a little not definite. Congratulations. Uh, guys, thank you so much for uh, yeah. stopping by and showing our Arcade Absolute pleasure, yeah. Um, I know that you've been doing it for a week straight, <laughs> and I'm sure all of these people are very happy that you decided to stop by. Well, cool. I'm uh, looking forward to stopping by more often now. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. This, we this can be a regular thing, right? Once a week? Yeah. Um, we'll see. Yeah, so. Uh, we could probably use some input from you guys as well, because now that we have four games, 
we felt that the live stream is getting kind of long, and we've maybe we, we've talked about maybe doing two games each week and alternating, or really focusing on one game. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll probably keep it all four next week, just because we don't want to do such a huge change uh, so quickly. But yeah, yeah. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Um, but also, Arcage uh, will definitely be in the rotation from oh, now yeah. on. I'll also say for Arcage because. I mean, we can sit here and just play the game or dance for half an hour, but if there's something so specific that you guys want to get into, we are happy to dig into the details on specific features or systems or... I'm not doing three hours of Arcage, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, or whatever it is. Uh, what uh, we don't know want. is that our CEO has actually locked the door, and now we have to stand here and no. play our gauge no. forever. I don't get to sleep yet. I no. don't. I don't have my character. I've been up for thirty-two hours. No. Well, that's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> you went out to the party. That's true. That's true. All right, guys. Um, All right. Thank you very much. Uh, tune in next week for sure, because we're I, we are going to have more Arcage stuff. Uh, almost certainly. Absolutely. I'm right on. By next live stream, I hope to have this guy's dance just like fucking yeah. down. <laughs> All right, see down. you guys. Maybe not so much dancing. Maybe.